Yo, Swaggy C here, shooting in my office in Puerto Rico. And I want to talk to you guys today because I made 120000 in July, I believe, in the market. But I only made like 20000 in August. And the point of this video is that trading profits is not linear. It is not a guarantee every single month. And this is a video I've never, I've never made, but I should have made a long time ago because a lot of people ask me, once I make money in the market, what should I do with it? And it's very, very imperative that you watch the entirety of this video because nobody ever talks about it. And I think it is something that needs to be dissected because look at this. If I made that money in July, let's say you guys did the same thing and you guys are thinking, oh, all of a sudden I'm going to make 120000 every single month, every single month, and then you don't, and then you have a red month where you actually lose money, but you have this lifestyle that you got to uphold, then it gets very, very difficult. So I'm going to dissect a few things that you should do when you get your trading profits. First thing is do not live above your means. So let's say, for instance, and we're not talking about the newbies who are still trying to find their way. We're talking about those, like, once you get to that point of, like, I'm actually starting to make money in this market, like, what should I do with it? First of all, do not live above your means. So if you have a crazy month where, yo, I just made 80K, don't go out trying to buy 50K worth of jewelry. It shouldn't, that shouldn't be a thing. Oof, missed that one. I'm not going to miss it again. I missed it again. Oh, boy. Anyway, that should not be a thing. I, I was talking to one trader who did something crazy, and he like made like maybe I think 67k in a month or something like that. And then he was like, "Yo, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy a supercar to show off the lifestyle, and then try to start a course." And bro, what? No, like I don't know why that's the first thought in people's mind. Like my mindset was never I'm gonna make money then I'm going to do this and I'm going to start a course. It was never my mindset. I was posting my profit on social media, as you guys remember, and then I started to get bombarded, because I, obviously I had a lot, of, a lot of followers at the time, about, can I teach them? Can I teach them? And I'm like, all right, I'll just create a course. Do not try to live and keep up with the lifestyle. You make a good amount of money. Don't try to buy chains. You guys may see this, like the Rolex, the bracelet, this bracelet, the ring. I got my chains if Bryce shows over there. Got my chains over there. Like, I got them all. That was after millions of dollars made already. And that's all around, which goes into my second point as well. Don't just rely on trading as one income. Because I get, I hear people all the time, thank you very much, Bryce. I hear people all the time saying, when I make money in trading, I'm going to quit my job, which is cool. And I'm just going to like, just be a trader. You shouldn't do that because you may have a quarter, let alone a month, an actual quarter where it's just all red. You may have one month where you take the month off. People think we're just trading every single day, all day, every day. Like from all the, the best traders that I'm around and then when they're around me, of course. Ugh! I don't know how many makes that is, but it's only three misses. But we talk about it all the time where it's like we may have two, three, four, five months of being profitable, and then we may take a month off, a two-month like two month break. Like me, I'm known all the time to just get a bunch of books and go on vacation, just read and just relax. Some people like to just take a vacation. Like, I know one trader who loves to fight, so whenever they want to take a break, they go to Thailand, they just fight for two, three months, and they're taking a break from the market. Sometimes you may want to do that, but in those three months, it's one of two things. It's either you have another income that supplements that lifestyle, whether it's a business or a hobby that makes money, anything in general, or you just don't live above your means. So if you make 100K or 200K in the market, don't try to live lavishly. Like if your rent is gonna be 5,000 a month, that's great because then that means it's going to take, I don't know, what? 20 months to get to 100K, so 40 months to get to 200K. So 5K a month is fine. You may do some nice things, pay for your family, that's cool. Pay off some debt, that's cool. Um, but always save up. That rich man in Babylon stuff that talks about a part of everything you earn is yours to keep. So save 10%, right? By George Clay, uh, Clayson, right? You may gotta bump that up to 20 or 30 when it comes to trading. Like when it comes to business, for prime example, let's say, my business, 
whether it's, you know, the lab where people watch me live trade or any of the new businesses I'm starting, it could be my YouTube channel, whatever it may be. If we make a certain amount of money, let's say we make six figures or seven figures, we pretty much know we're going to do that again because you can track it. More or less, maybe more, maybe less, depending. Trading, there is no guarantee, and I want to say this very, very clearly so you guys remember, there's no guarantee that just because you made 5000 a month this month, you're going to make 5000 next month. There's no guarantee you should make 150 this month, you're going to make 150 next month. Now, if it happens, great. What you want to do is have a great track record. But the third thing I want to talk about is the risk management part. And that's where a lot of people got it effed up. They want to get those big profits so heavy, so heavy, meaning they see me or they see another trader. They see this trader. They see this trader having crazy days. You guys see me on YouTube. I think my last video was how I made 25000 on on EJ. Yeah, that was in one day, but that was like days of preparing, like a week of like monitoring, making sure everything was all good, right? Ugh. Making sure everything was all good. You guys shouldn't look at it as I'm going to up my lot size just to get to that 25K in a day. You shouldn't do that. People think you have to win every single trade. You don't. You can have a 30% a win rate and still be profitable. I made a video, I think, two and a half years ago where I talked about even if you have a 30 40% win rate, you can still be profitable. It's the risk management. Is it a one to four, one to five, one to six. If you keep that as your risk to reward ratio, you'll still be profitable. When you get your money, be mindful. But the most important thing is you want to make sure that your psychology is on, is on another level. So make sure you have another stream of income. No matter, it only got to be trading in general. Use that, I want to say this right now. A lot of people get into trading with a hobby already in mind. So sometimes you're already a fitness trainer, sometimes you're already into real estate. With the money you get from trading, use that money to funnel what you really want to do. Thank you. To funnel what you really want to do. And then that can be your quote unquote guaranteed income. With this passive income or you got to work for it, continue to do that. People look at everybody online and yes, we all make money, but like we all have other things going on because like once we, once we made that money. I have my businesses, so does Quillian, so does Sean and Astro, so does Raja, so does ICT, so does Raul, we go into the stock market, so does Graham, so does Kevin, ah, that's all, all of them, everybody, we have something else on top of what we're doing. Now, I did hear a quote which is not necessarily a bad thing, right? I think I heard this from... I think I heard it from Quillian, I'm not entirely too sure, where it was like trading money should be for like bills and stuff. So let's say for instance, if you make 100K, put that to the side for all your bills and stuff and everything else can be like for, for fun, for lifestyle, for extra. But like if you make 10K in the market and your bills are 5K, you're good. Use that extra 5K to start a business, this and that and that. If you make 200K in a day, not a day, in a, in a month or in six months, that's great. Put some of that to, to the side for like your bills, put the other to the side for like a vacation because you may need a vacation, and then the rest should be to start another business so you can get another income. Because I'll tell you right now, a lot of traders, myself included, are way better. Like the stress when we're trading is way, this is real, the stress of trading is like way off because we know like we're good, like we, we win, we lose, we're not in the hood or in a bad situation to where all the money that we're making, we gotta make this or we're just gonna die, we're gonna starve tomorrow. We know we're good regardless. And knowing that psychology wise, it helps us be a better trader. It helps us when we look at the market, we just place the trade. After doing all the analysis, of course, like top down analysis, I'm a swing trader, I obviously look at it from a longer term perspective. We do all of that, once we're able to make that trade, it's so easy to have that confidence. Now, we didn't have that in the first beginning of the years. We had to like, master that. That's why all these people out there who's watching, they may be thinking about it in terms of, oh, I got to master technical analysis. No, you don't. You got, first of all, you got to understand technical analysis, but it can take you two, three weeks to really go through all of baby pips, go through all of somebody's course. It's just once you get to that point to where, sorry, 
feel like I haven't shot in a while. And of course I missed it. Once you get to that point where you are like past the technical analysis phase, focus on psychology and risk management. Because I'll tell you right now, how many times have you guys watched this video, or those watching this video, how many times have you guys looked at a trade, you understand everything about the trade? The candlestick patterns, what's about to happen, the reversal, this, that, and the third, but you won't place the trade because you're waiting on another confluence. When you already got five confluences, that's psychology. And then for the risk management part, you see somebody who made X amount of money, you're in a group, you're in a community, somebody else made $1,000 off the same trade you did, but you only made 200. Now you're envious, now the next trade, you're gonna over leverage, then you're gonna blow your account. You should never ever blow your account when you're in like your third or fourth year of trading. Like your first year, yeah, because we all want that money and we think trading is easy. We've all, we've all blown accounts before. I'm, I'm gonna be done with this video in a second. We've done it before, but once you get to that third or fourth year, you realize if you blow your account, that's just you being really, really reckless because you're really risking all of your account on one or two trades. You can't do that. So long story short, all I'm saying is, please do not live above your means. Please schedule out for months in advance at least because you never know if that next month could be a red month. If it's not a red month, great. That works to your advantage. That works to your favor. But if it is a red month, you want to be prepared for that. That's the biggest part of advice you, I can say. Put that money, pay your bills, do something nice for yourself. I wouldn't say be too luxurious, don't get no Birkin bag, don't do this and that, but do something nice for yourself, a little something for your mom, pays for something so you understand this came from trading money and trading money is real, makes you wanna go 10 times harder. Then look for that second stream, third stream of income, because that may skyrocket your trading and help that confidence that we can't really control ourselves. Sometimes we can, but a lot of people can't. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I just wanted to talk to you guys about trading profits is not linear. I saw that quote from Umar, my boy Umar, and he couldn't be more, more accurate. Just like he said, he made 500,000 one month, the next month he made 40,000. That is the reality of the fact. That's what happens when you trade. Just be mindful. I'll highlight you guys.